again everyone. I've had a request to do another bee painting. So we're going to do something slightly different to the last bee painting we did. Now I've got myself the normal uh, white steel blank with the hook welded on the back and the first thing I'm going to do is just to touch it over with some 800 grit wet and dry just so there's a bit of a key for the water based paint. Well now that's done I'm just going to use the graphite paper to mark the approximate position of the bee and the border of this sort of flowery nonsense bit there. So there you go, you can see I've got the rough sort of outline of the bee and the border between the flowers and the sort of greeny background. Anyhow, the next thing I think to do is to make up a shield for the bee because we'll do the bee last after we've done the background i think that's the right way to do it and it does have the advantage as well that if we muck up the background we can uh, start again if we have to but if we've already done the bee then mark up the background we have to do the harder bit again as well if that makes sense Anyhow, I'm going to get a bit of acetate and make up that shield for the bee. About time I had a cup of tea as well. Right, there we go. There is the outline of me bee. Now I'm going to stick that on the steel with the magnets as usual. Well, since I've got the green in, I'm going to try and put in some of these green bits of the flowery stuff. It doesn't matter if they don't exactly match the reference. I'm just going to try and get something in. Well, so well, now I'm going to mix up some pinky colour to do these pink areas. I'm thinking I might just do the occasional little bit with one of my flame stencils just where the edges are really sharp but there's not many places where they are so keep that pretty minimal I guess. Well, I've just had a bit of a break for lunch and now I reckon that we're going to add in some of this yellow and uh, maybe touch in the green again. The yellow is quite a yellowy green anyway, so I might have to mix the two together a bit.
Wind's getting up. Right, now I'm going to remove that shield and add in the darkest parts, the black parts of the bee. concentration involved in this. Could be time for a cup of tea, I reckon. And don't forget, there's a selection of my airbrush paintings available on my Etsy shop. Just search in Etsy for TTXLA Airbrush. I'll put a link in the description below. Right, well, obviously bees are a little bit hairy, so I saw this, I think, on one of McNeil's videos, that you can use um, a brush, sort of chopped into an irregular shape, to do the hairy bits. So uh, I borrowed one of Nikki's makeup brushes. You know what? I borrowed one of your makeup brushes, darling. They cost a fortune, everything is ridiculous. Well, it, it'll be all right. Well, you better buy me some new ones. Well, uh, that was a bit tricky in parts. The uh, the sort of hairiness, I don't know, it's okay, I think. It wasn't quite how I planned on doing it, but uh, it is there, I think. But anyway, now what I'm going to do is add some of the white highlights in, which hopefully should make it stand out a bit better. Oh, there we go. I think that's pretty much ready for the clear, which I'll uh, put on probably tomorrow, I guess. Maybe later tonight. We'll see. Well, it's actually a week later now, and I've been looking at this painting sitting on the sofa here for a week or so, waiting for its clear coat. And I've noticed there's a bit I'm not entirely happy with. And it's really the, uh, what would be, I suppose, the top of his shoulder there. It is fairly true to the reference. The reference is quite whitish there, but uh, just looks to me like he's a bit mangy. He's lost a bit of his, his yellow furriness. So uh, 
I've started up the compressor and everything again. I'm going to blow in a bit of yellow on there just to color that bit in. It just looks a bit wrong to me. So uh, I'm going to blow that in before I put the clear coat on. There we go, only a small thing really, but uh, I'm much happier with that now. Well, we've moved back out to the garage. The sun's shining, lovely day outside. Now it's time to give it a bit of clear coat. Well, now all that remains, of course, is to give it a little bit of a rub down with 800 then 1500 wet and dry paper, a bit of tea cut and a polish, see how it comes up. And there it is, the finished piece. And you can see I have remembered to sign it this time. Anyhow, hope you like that and uh, see you for some more painting soon. Well, that's all for now. If you enjoyed it, press like. Subscribe if you want to see some more. And ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new.